I still remember the first time that I met Mr. Dotson way back in the fifth grade. I couldn't wait to meet the art teacher because that was my favorite thing about school. And he was a guy, a big, strong guy. You didn't see that very often at school, but then once he opened his mouth, you could tell that he was just the sweetest, gentlest person. And I vividly remember the first demonstration he did for the class. Everybody was all huddled around trying to get the best view of what he was doing. And we watched him use oil pastels to make an imaginary creature just pop off the page. I was in a trance watching him blend the colors together to create texture and dimension. He created magic with art, but he gave us all the tricks to his magic so that we could make magic too. Mr. Dotson gave his students all kinds of amazing opportunities and experiences beyond what you normally do in art class. It wasn't just drawing and painting, we did stone carving and we painted a giant mural outside the school. It was always something exciting to do. And he had an art club that I loved being a part of that brought together all kinds of kids with all different kinds of interests and abilities. And he created a community and a space where everyone felt like we belonged. And we worked together and we collaborated and we made beautiful things and we formed friendships there. People that I'm still friends with today. Mr. Dotson encouraged me to submit my art to contests and shows. He helped me get everything ready. I remember one year when my art was displayed in the art gallery in Knoxville. I felt so important to have my art in a real art gallery. And of course, Mr. Dotson was there on opening night to congratulate me on my accomplishment. He turned my love of art into confidence, not just as an artist, but as a person. He helped me see that if I set my mind to something, that I could do it. And he was always there to congratulate me when I did. And that's had a huge impact on me my entire life. Hey, Mr. Dodson, it's Alexis. I'm just recording this video to tell you how much I appreciate you and all that you've done for me and the community of Oak Ridge and even in Knoxville. You were my middle school art teacher at Jefferson. Um, at that point, I had no idea if art was what I wanted to do or even if I was good at it. Um, I remember eighth grade having to do a portfolio review to be able to go to um, the ninth grade art honors class at ORHS, and I did not want to do it. I was like, oh, but somebody made me do it. So I did and got into ninth grade art honors. Who would have known that after that, art became my passion? Uh, throughout all of my art at Oak Ridge, I was involved with you. I remember doing chalk walks with you in middle school, um, chalk walks at Roan State after that. My name is Paula Medlin. I am a retired choral director. I've known Jim Dotson for several years. We worked together on the staff of the Tennessee Arts Academy. The Tennessee Arts Academy is a nationally recognized week-long workshop for teachers of the arts. As the visual art director, Jim was responsible for bringing in faculty members from all over the country to serve as teachers for the teachers who attend the Arts Academy. Although Jim is no longer on staff of the Arts Academy, he is still involved with the best of the best exhibit, which is the students from the state of Tennessee who won the best of the best. This year, although the academy was virtual, Jim was still involved in this art exhibit, even though it was via Zoom. Each day, it featured five to six students from all over the state and Jim chaired that event. Jim brought that presentation to life and eloquently interviewed the students who were there representing their work. His work in the state of Tennessee to promote visual art for the students of the state of Tennessee has been incredible. And I give my hats off to you, sir, for all you've done for visual art in the state of Tennessee. Thank you very much. Good evening, Bowtie family. We're here to celebrate Jim Dotson and all he's done for our community, and it's huge. But we're on vacation, and, and 
Jim's here somewhere. We're it's fall break, and we have just found out that Facebook and its sister Instagram have gone off. They're off, and we're really concerned about Jim, his his ability to communicate because he can communicate in many many devices, and those two are two of his favorites. So Jim, I hope your vacation was not ruined by this incident. And in the meantime, we're really happy and proud that you are the Bowtie winner. You've earned it, not only in our schools, but in our community. And you're a great example of what it's like to be a leader in a town. Congratulations. This is Hans, and I want to wish my friend Franz the receipt of this award for ADFAC and Bill Wilcox Bowtie. I am very excited for Jim. He is a fantastic partner, but I think he is a bit of a flabahama now. But I am back, and I want to pump you up. Ah, congratulations, Jim. My senior year, I did a class where I got to choose somebody in the community to do an internship with, and I knew immediately that I wanted to do it with Mr. Dotson. Coming back to his art classroom at Jefferson Middle School was like a homecoming. I loved being in that space again, and I loved working with him. And it was such a fun time to not just be creating art again, but to help him show the younger kids the magic that he had shown me. And, and then I went to college at the University of Tennessee and ended up as an art education major. Who would have known? So I remember going in almost to my internship year and we had the students above us come in and speak with us about their internship year and how like what was what it was like and um you were there you showed up with one of the interns and I'm like I know him I that used to be my middle school teacher and so we started talking and I decided I was going to intern with you my next year at Jefferson back at my middle school Internship was awesome with you. Um, you know, you taught the A days. I taught the B days. Some days I covered your A days so you could go play the harmonica up with your little group of band upstairs. Um, you helped me get involved with so many different activities. You had me paint cornhole boards for the Torch um, organization in Oak Ridge. And I remember they were supposed to be for uh, the winners of the cornhole tournament for the event they were having. Um, but of course, me being a perfectionist, I made sure that they were beautiful. And you said, these are a work of art, Alexis. There's no way we can just give these away. So you talked to the founder of the Torch organization and actually got them to be auctioned. So then me and my dad got to <laughs> play cornhole against you that night at the auction or at the event. And unfortunately, you and your wife beat us the last round. So you and your wife won. It was okay, I guess. <laughs> but then my boards, I got to see my boards be auctioned off. Um, and the best part is that you ended up buying the boards. So I now have one of those boards. And I'll always be able to see it and always remember um, how that money went to such a great cause. Again, just another one of the many things that you do. We also can't forget the mini guitars that I painted for you. Not miniature guitars, but actual guitars where I had to take the strings off and paint those. Hopefully those are on display in your house somewhere. It was so great to be able to see the work that you did with your students, um, the work that you did around Oak Ridge, having Ed Westcott come in and speak with the students and get to see the students' artworks based off of the photographs that Ed took, and then even getting those paintings and drawings that they ended up doing put in City Hall. And one of mine actually got put in there. And then having a recognition ceremony for them at one of the um, City Hall meetings. I mean, I just, I strive so much to be like you. Now that I am an art teacher, high school, so not necessarily middle school, I see all the things that you're doing still constantly when you post things, the mask designs that you've done with your students during COVID. And I say, I, I want to do this. I want to be like Mr. Dodson. I will always call you Mr. Dodson.
there's so many things that you are influencing not just in Tennessee. I'm in North Carolina now doing my own thing and I still love to see your work and love to see what your students are doing and how you are promoting art around the community. I mean, the murals that are coming up in Oak Ridge as well, I, it's unbelievable the amount of things that you've done. So I just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for not just me, but everybody else. You are such a role model and an inspiration to me. And I hope someday I can come back when you, um, you know, get tired of teaching at Jefferson and fill those big shoes, but probably not anytime soon. So don't go anywhere. Hopefully I'll see you next time I'm home. Bye, Mr. Dodson. Well, 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 hello, ADFAC, hello, Bowtie winner Jim Dodson. This is Steve Reddick reporting in uh, to share a few thoughts about my good friend Jimbo. Um, I first met Jim Dodson 32, 33 years ago when he became a teacher at Jefferson Middle School, the art teacher, I should say. And uh, I've gotten to know Jim through a lot of phases in his life. I've had the opportunity to watch him grow and develop as a, as a teacher and as a leader in our town and and in our state, and really across the across the region, and some would say the country, because one of his very first achievements was that he was the National Art Teacher of the Year when he was a mere babe in arms in the classroom. Um, he then had a short stint as the president of the Oak Ridge Education Association, which in Jimbo's day was uh, lobbying hard for pay pay increases when there was very little money. One year he finagled us a one one percent pay raise, and I like to tease him about that publicly. And then. Uh, <clears throat> I went through several years of my own presidency where we got 0% pay raise and learned that humble pie is not only tasty, but um, humbling. So there's that. But I also got to know Jim. Uh, I got to sort of start to see the inner Jim when I, he decided to become a bodybuilder. And um, he went through a phase where we, you know, we used to tease him about bench pressing school buses on his brakes and that kind of thing. And then he would. Uh, he then became a competitive bodybuilder, and I do remember a legendary and epic evening at Bearden High School sometime, some 20 years ago or so, where there was a lot of weeping. It was either either Jim weeping or the people weeping at Jim's magnificence, and uh, it was quite quite entertaining. And um, he still may bench press a school bus for all I know. Uh, really got to know him the best probably when um, he became the member of a notorious local biker gang called the Diablos. It doubled when they weren't riding the one bike motorcycle that we had, which Jim owned, by the way. Um, we also performed as a, as a folk group at the Daily Grind, and Jim was the epic harmonica player who would roll up his sleeves and go crowd surfing with his harmonica and just get everybody cuckooing all over him, goo-gooing all over him. He also, at that point, introduced me to my lifelong aversion to the shaky egg and other percussion instruments, which I sometimes find annoying. Um, but then, at that point, uh, the Diablos uh, kind of rode off into the sunset, and it's that point when Jim began to really uh, get involved actively in the community and in statewide educational art associations and so on, and his... Um, all the things that we know about Jim that led him to the, have led him to this prestigious award uh, that we are here to celebrate tonight. Jimbo, there's nobody in this town that deserves this award more than you. Do not mention that to the previous Bowtie Award winners. Um, but I'm proud of you. I'm proud to know you. And I would bet dollars to donuts you've got a harmonica in your pocket right now and you can't wait to get up in front of this crowd and flex your harmonica muscles. Love you, Jimbo. Congratulations.